Good morning, friends. Buenos dias, amigos y amigas. My name is Kenny, and I work at San Mateo County Libraries. Mi nombre es Kenny, y yo trabajo por las bibliotecas del condado de San Mateo. And thank you so much for joining me today uh, for Music Playtime. Yeah! Gracias por venir hoy para nuestro programa Tiempo de Juego Música. Yeah! And I want to remind everyone watching that it is census time. So kids, please remind your adults to please remember to fill out the census because it is very important that we do this. And you can do so at my2020census.gov. Y quiero recordar a todos que es hora del censo. Uh, recuerde completar el censo porque es muy importante. Y lo puedes hacer a través del website my2020census.gov. Y toma como unos 10 minutos. Y lo puedes hacer en español. Aquí. All right. So, if you have any musical instruments around the house, this is a good time to go grab them. Maybe you have a guitar, or maybe a ukulele, or maybe some egg shakers, or maybe some drumsticks. And if you don't, it's cool too, because we got our hands and we have our voices, right? We can always clap along, we can always sing along, and we can always dance along, all right? So we're gonna be uh, playing some songs in English and in Spanish. So vamos a cantar y bailar y tocar música. Juntos, right? We're going to play music together. We're going to do this together. Y vamos a cantar uh, canciones en inglés y también en español. All right? <clears throat> so for this first song, it's called The More We Get Together. All right? And it's about us getting together, friends getting together, having some fun, playing some music. It goes like this. You ready? <clears throat> The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Nice job, nice job. Now, friends, can you tell me? What other things can we do together? What things can friends do together? Can we read together? I work at a library, so I'm always surrounded by books. Can friends read together? Of course we can. Of course they can. Can we sing it? Are you ready? The more we read together, 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 the more we read together, the happier we'll be. Because your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we read together, the happier we'll be. Nice job, nice job. Now, what other things can friends do together? Can friends share? Can friends share together? Of course we can, right? Of course we can share while we're playing, right? Shall we sing it? The more we share together, 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 the more we share together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we share together, the happier we'll be. Nice job, nice job. Now, what about, can friends dance together? Can we dance together? Of course we can, of course we can. So if you're able to, this is the perfect time to stand up, stretch our arms, stretch our legs. Let's get loose. Let's dance together. Are you ready? The more we dance together, 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 the more we dance together, the happier we'll be, cause you're 
friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we dance together, the happier we'll be. Nice job, everyone. Nice job. Nice job. I think we're all warmed up now, right? We're all warmed up. We're ready to go. So this next song is in Spanish. And it's called Un Elefante. Esta canción se llama Un Elefante. And it's in Espanol. And it's about a group of elephants who are all trying to balance on a tiny, tiny little spider web. Can you imagine a bunch of elephants trying to balance on a tiny, tiny spider web? I'm gonna need your help. We're gonna get to a point in the song where we need to call for the next elephant to come join us on our spider web. And it's only gonna work if we do it together. Right? And what we have to do is say the word elefante to call for the next elephant. You want to practice it? We can practice it. On the count of three, let's all say the word elefante together. Ready? One, two, three. Elefante. That sounds good. Good job. Good job. So lo tenemos que hacer juntos, right? Esta canción vamos a llamar a los otros elefantes, right? Y tenemos que decir la palabra elefante. Y lo tenemos que decir juntos. Are you ready? So we're going to start off with what? Vamos a comenzar con un elefante. <clears throat> Cosa. Un elefante se balanceaba sobre la tela de una raya. Como veía que resistía, fueron a llamar otro elefante. And this is the part of the song where we need to call for the next elephant. Tenemos que llamar al otro elefante. And so again, on the count of three, we're going to all say the word elefante. Okay? One, two, three. Elefante. Good job. Nice job. Now, friends, what comes after the number one? ¿Qué viene después del número uno? One, two, right? Uno, dos, dos elefantes. So now we have two elefantes. Are you ready? <clears throat> dos elefantes se balanceaba sobre la tela de una raya. Como veía que resistía, fueron a llamar otro elefante. Now we have to call for the next elephant. Remember. Only gonna work if we do this together. So on the count of three, are you ready? One, two, three. Elefante. Good job. Nice job. Nice job. Now, friends, what comes after the number two? Que sigue después del numero dos? We have one, two, three, right? Uno, dos, y tres. Ya tenemos tres elefantes. So now we have three elefantes. Are you ready? Tres elefantes se balanceaba sobre la tela de la raña. Como veía que resistía, fueron a llamar otro elefante. Now we have to call for the next elephant to come join us. Are you ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. Elefante. Nice job, nice job. So now we have one more. What comes after the number three? Que viene después del numero tres? We have one, two, three, four, right? Uno, dos, tres, y cuatro. So ya tenemos cuatro elefantes. So now we have four elefantes. That's a lot of elefantes. Are you ready? Cuatro elefantes se balanceaba sobre la tela de una raya. Como veía que resistía, pero no hay amar otro elefante. 
going to be our last one. So we have to make this a really good one. So all together now, on the count of three, are you ready? One, two, three. Elefante. Good job. Nice job. Nice job. So now we have one more elefante. So now where are we at? What comes after the number four? We have one, two, three, four, five, right? Que viene después del numero cuatro. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, y cinco. Cinco elefantes. We have five elefantes all trying to balance on the spider web together. Shall we sing it? <clears throat> Cinco elefantes se balanceaba sobre la tela de una raya. Como veía que resistía, fueron a llamar otro elefante. Yeah! Nice job, everyone. Nice job. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you for helping me count. This next song. Ooh, this next song also has a spider web in it. And it also has a spider in it. And some may call this spider an itsy bitsy spider. So if you can, can you show me with your hand? How do we make a spider with our hand? How can we make a spider with our hand? We can go like this, right? Can we make a spider like this with our spider legs? And so our spider, what's going what's gonna to happen is our spider is going to go up the water spout. So we're going to take our spider and it's going to climb, climb up like this. And then down comes the rain like this and washes the spider out, right? But then out comes the sun. So we're going to make a big circle with our two hands and dries up all the rain. And then we have our itsy bitsy spider climbing up the water spout once again. Are we ready? Let's see those spiders. Show me those spiders. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. The itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Nice job, good job, good job singing, good job, good job, good job. Now, as you may know, I happen to know this song in Spanish as well. So yes, yo sé cómo cantar esta canción también en español. Y en español, la canción se llama La Raña Pequeñita. So in Spanish, this song is called La Araña Pequeñita. That's how you say the tiny spider in Spanish. So let's sing it in Spanish as well. But I think we can sing it a little bit faster. Should we play it a little bit faster? Lo podemos tocar esta canción un poquito más rápido. So lo podemos? Get it? Shall we do it? Like this. All right, let me see those spiders. Estamos listos? La araña pequeñita subió, subió, subió. Vino la lluvia y se la llevó. Salió el sol y todo lo secó. La araña pequeñita subió, subió, subió. Good job, good job, good job, everyone. Whew. Nice job, nice job. Thank you for joining me. So this next song is about a farmer. And on this farmer's farm is basically every animal you can think of. It's a really big farm. The song is called Old MacDonald. And I'm going to need your help. We're going to get to a point of the song where I get to choose an animal. I need your help to tell me what noise does that animal make? What sound does that animal make? You got it? 
Can we do it? Oh, McDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on our farm we Can you tell me what sound does a chicken make? Can you say a boy? Does it go buck 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 or pio pio pio? Right? Of course it does. Of course it does. You ready? We had a chicken or in Espanol un pollo. E -a -e -a -yo. With a box box here and a box box there, here box there box everywhere box box. Oh, makes a lot of fun. E -a -e -a -o. And on our farm we had a. My friends, can you tell me what noise does a lion make? Can you say Leon? Ooh. A lion goes, oh, rah, right? It goes, rah. Can we do that together? You ready? We had a lion, e -I -E -I -O, with a rah right here and a rah right there. Here, rah, there, rah, everywhere, rah, rah. Only Donald had a fun, e -I -E -I -O. And on our farm we have... What noise, what sound does a cat make? Can you say the gato? The cat goes meow, right? It goes meow, like this. Can we sing it? Are you ready? We had a cat, on español, un gato, e -a -e -a -o. with a meow meow here and a meow meow there, here meow there meow, everywhere meow meow, old McDonald had a fun, e -a -e -a -o. We'll do one more, and on our farm we Frog. What sound does a frog make? Que dice la rana? The frog goes oh, ribbit, ribbit. Right? It goes ribbit, ribbit. As it's hopping up and down like this. Can we sing it? Can we get up and dance too? Let's try. Ready? We had a frog. E -I -E -I -O. With a ribbit, ribbit here and a ribbit, ribbit there. Here, ribbit, there, ribbit, everywhere, ribbit, ribbit. Old McDonald had a fun. E-I-E-I-O. Yeah! <laughs> nice job, everyone. Great job, great job. And again, thank you for helping me. All right, this next song is called Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. And we can try the song slow and we can get faster and then faster, all right? So it goes like this. Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, how I wonder what you are up above the world so high like a diamond in the sky twinkle twinkle little star how i wonder what you are nice job nice job nice job now do you think we can sing this a little bit faster lo podemos cantar Poquito más rápido. Let's try. Like this. Are you ready? Estamos listos. All right. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder 
care what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. People twinkle, little star. How, how I wonder what you are. Nice job. But do you think we can sing it even faster than that? Lo podemos cantar más, más, más rápido? Well, we can try, right? Let's try this. Woo! Are you ready? Estamos listos. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond. In the sky, twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Woo! I barely made it through that one. <laughs> but good job, friends. Nice job, nice job. Round of applause, round of applause. Yeah! All right, so we have two songs left. Tenemos dos canciones más. No, canciones más. Y esta canción. So this next song is also in Spanish, and it's called De Colores. And it's about all the different colors of the rainbow and, where, and how wherever we go, we are always surrounded by all the different colors of the rainbow. Yeah, you can look around and you can see all the different colors. You can see red and blue and pink and purple. Right? It's pretty awesome. All right, <clears throat> so this song goes like this. De colores, de colores se visten los campos en la primavera. De colores, de colores son los pajaritos que vienen afuera. Colores es algo iris que vemos vestir. Y por eso los grandes amores de muchos colores me gustan a mí. Y por eso los grandes amores de muchos colores me gustan a mí. Canta el gallo, canta el gallo con el kiri kiri kiri. La gallina, la gallina con el cara, cara, cara y cara. Los polluelos, los polluelos con el pío, pío, pío y pío. Y por esto los grandes amores de muchos colores me gustan a mí. Y por esto los grandes amores de muchos colores me gustan a mí. Yeah! Nice job, nice job, everyone. Whew. We have one song left. We have one song left. This is a great song, if you're not already, to get up and dance. So if you, if you can, Let's get up again, stretch our arms, stretch our legs. Let's start our Tuesday morning off with some dancing. And the song is called Baby Shark. Ooh, are you ready for this one? Are you ready for this one? <clears throat> baby shark, do 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 do. baby shark, do 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 do. baby shark, do 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 do. baby shark, baby shark. Mommy shark, do 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 do. Mommy shark, do 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 do. Mommy shark, do 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 do. Mommy shark. Daddy shark, do 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 do. Daddy shark, do 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 do. Daddy shark, do 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 do. Daddy shark. Grandma shark, do 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 do. Grandma shark, do 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 do. Grandma shark, do 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 do. Grandma shark. 
Let's go hunt it, 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 let's go hunt Uh-oh, run away, 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 run it's the end of 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 the Thank you so much for all for uh, for joining me today. Uh, muchas gracias a todos por pasar este tiempo conmigo. And don't go anywhere because my friend Angela will be coming up in just a few minutes to host a preschool story time at 11 a.m. So in like five minutes. Uh, and later on today, we have a Mandarin and Eng uh, English story time at 3 p.m., a Create with Kelly craft program at 3.30, and an afternoon drawing program at 4 p.m. So tenemos cuatro programas más hoy, incluyendo un uh, que comienza en unos minutos a las 11. Uh, so check out our library's website at smcl.org for the full schedule on all of our live programs uh, that we have all week long. Uh, visita, uh, visita nuestra website smcl.org para ver nuestro calendario de programas que tenemos cada semana. All right. Thank you again. And have a wonderful rest of your day.
Good morning. My name is Angela. I'm here to do preschool story time with you. Um, if you were online earlier, you saw Kenny and it was so much fun with Kenny. He always gets me up and dancing. Um, if you missed him, he's, he'll be back on Thursday at 1030. But um, right now I'm going to be doing preschool story time with you. Um, um, the way we, I always start my story times is with my fingers. So can you show your fingers? Wiggle them, wiggle them, put them in the air. Wiggle them, wiggle them, mess them in your hair. Wiggle them, wiggle them, give a little clap. Wiggle them, wiggle them, put them in your lap. All right, good job. And I'm gonna be reading stories to you from um, our website today. I forgot to introduce that earlier. And our website you can find at smcl.org. That's smcl.org. And these are all ebooks that are on um, Overdrive that you can look at later and you can check them out yourself. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and share the first book with you. And this one is called Happy Birthday Moon. This is by Frank Ash, and it is read with permission from Aladdin. Hey, happy birthday, Moon. One night, Bear looked up at the sky and thought, wouldn't it be nice to give the moon a birthday present? Do you like birthday presents? I sure do. But Bear didn't know when the moon's birthday was or what to get him. So he climbed a tall tree to have a little chat with the moon. Hello, moon, he shouted. But the moon did not reply. Maybe I'm too far away, thought Bear, and the moon cannot hear me. So Bear paddled across the river and hiked through the forest. He's trying to get closer into the mountains. He looks closer here. Now I'm much closer to the moon, thought Bear. And again, he shouted, hello. This time his voice echoed off one of the other mountains. Hello. Bear got very excited. Oh boy, he thought, I'm talking to the moon. Tell me, asked Bear, when is your birthday? Tell me, when is your birthday, replied the moon. Well, it just so happens that my birthday is tomorrow, said Bear. Well, it just so happens that my birthday is tomorrow, said the moon. What do you want for your birthday, asked Bear. What do you want for your birthday, asked the moon. Bear thought for a moment. Then he replied, I would like a hat. I would like a hat, said the moon. Oh, goody, thought Bear. Now I know what to get the moon for his birthday. Goodbye, said Bear. Goodbye, said the moon. When Bear got home, he dumped all the money out of his piggy bank. Oh, there he is, he's shaking it. Do you have a piggy bank? Or maybe it's a different kind of um, bank. You know, it doesn't have to be a pig. It could be another kind of animal maybe a cow. <laughs> then he went downtown. Oh, there he is. And where's he going? He's going to a store called Fats Hats. And he bought the moon a beautiful hat. There's the hat. And do you see there's other hats on the shelf too? Do you think you would buy that hat? Or maybe you would buy one of these other ones. That night he put the hat up in a tree where the moon could find it. Then he waited and watched while the moon slowly crept up through the branches and tried on the hat. You see the moon moving here, it's getting closer to the hat and closer. And look, it looks like he has it on. Hooray, yelled Bear. It fits just right. During the night, while Bear slept, the hat fell out of the tree. Oh, there it is, it's on the ground. In the morning, Bear found the hat on his doorstep. So the moon got me a hat too, exclaimed Bear. He tried it on and it fit perfectly. 
There it is. But just then the wind blew Bear's hat off his head. He chased after it. Oh no, there it goes. But it got away. Oh. That night Bear paddled across the river and hiked through the forest to talk to the moon. For a long time, the moon would not speak to him. So Bear spoke first. Hello, he shouted. Hello, replied the moon. I lost a beautiful hat you gave me, said Bear. I lost a beautiful hat you gave me, said the moon. That's okay. I still love you, said Bear. That's okay. I still love you, said the moon. Happy birthday, said Bear. Happy birthday, said the moon. Oh, and there, look, look, look what's happening here in this picture. Does this look like Bear's hat? And the bird made a nest in it. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? And I think that's the end. Yeah, that's the end of the book. All right. So I have a, a song that um, may sound familiar to you. And it's about a birthday. And for birthdays, we have to have a birthday cake, right? And this is called the Itsy Bitsy Spider and the Birthday Cake. So here I have my, my spider, okay? And this is how it goes. The Itsy Bitsy Spider crawled up the birthday cake. He ate up all the frosting and got a tummy ache. And when they brought the ice cream, he ate even more. And the itsy bitsy spider fell sick upon the floor. He's not feeling too good. They took him to the doctor because he felt so bad. It was the worst tummy ache that he ever had. And when they brought the medicine, it was way too sweet. Just a drink of water would be a great big treat. So he's gonna go look for some water. He's gonna go up the water spout. This is the part that you know, right? So you can do your spider. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Yay! I never knew that's the reason why the spider went up the water spout, because he ate too much birthday cake. Did you? <laughs> okay. Let's go on to our next story. And I'm going to share that with you as well. And this one is called Good Night Dinosaur. And this one is by Adam Gamble and Mark Jasper and read with permission from Good Night Books. That's what it's called, Good Night Books. And look, do you see the dinosaurs are kind of, they look like they're sleeping. Oh, he has his eye open. He's peeking at his eggs. For her eggs, and there they are. Everyone's quiet and sleeping. Good morning, prehistoric world. Good morning, baby dinosaurs hatching from your eggs. Are you ready to share a wonderful day? Look at those baby dinosaurs. They're coming out. And what's this back here? This looks like a volcano with lava coming out. Happy springtime, Supersaurus, filling your super big bellies with leaves. So here are the Supersauruses and they're eating these trees and they're so big. No wonder they're called super. And look back here, there's a waterfall. It's nice to see you Triceratops rambling through the forest. This is a Triceratops. He's called a Triceratops because he has three horns, one here, one here, and one here. 
One, two, three. Look out, Stegosaurus. Your spiked tail and bony plates help protect you. There's the Stegosaurus, and look at these plates. They're spiky. And then he has these back here. Ooh, those look sharp. And who is this over here? I bet a lot of you know who this is. This is the T-Rex, right? Greetings, duck-billed dinosaurs. You don't quack. You make a deep foghorn sound. All right, so these are the duck-billed dinosaurs. And they're eating stuff that's in the water. Greetings, Argentinosaurus, one of the largest dinosaurs ever, as long as three school buses. Wow, he is big. Look at that. Three school buses. Hello, Microceratops, one of the smallest dinosaurs. There he is in the tree. You're about the size of a little dog. You don't usually think of dinosaurs being little like that. Oh, we know who this is, right? Good afternoon, Tyrannosaurus Rex, king of the dinosaurs. What kind of sound does he make? Can you roar like a dinosaur? Rawr. I know you can. I've heard you in the library. <laughs> Watch out. Some dinosaurs hunt in packs and use teamwork to catch their prey. So the, these three guys are teaming up so they can Try to catch this guy here, even though he's bigger. Go, speedy dinos. You look like ostriches, ostriches, and run very fast. So these are the guys that look like ostriches. Good afternoon, giant aquatic reptiles. Oh, look how big he is, hunting in an ancient sea. Did he catch something to eat? Yes, he did. He caught a fish. Ahoy there! Some swimming reptiles look like dolphins. Do you think these guys look like dolphins? Yeah, a little bit, huh? Hello, Chudon. Probably the smartest of all dinosaurs. Here's Chudon. And look, what's this over here? It's a little mouse. Good evening, Iguanodon munching on tasty leaves. Oh, they're eating leaves. And what kind of sound do you think while they're eating? Maybe munching sounds like this. Some dinosaurs are covered with spikes and bumpy armor. Wow, you are well protected. So this is an Ankylosaurus and he has so much spikes, so many spikes and a this tail looks kind of like it would hurt if he hit you with it, right? Good evening, Spinosaurus catching fish. You are even bigger than Tyrannosaurus Rex. This is Spinosaurus. He's eating a fish. And what is this here? This looks like maybe a crocodile or an alligator. Yeah. Some dino dinosaurs are covered with feathers. Look at that. Good evening, fine feathered friends running in the moonlight. I didn't know that there were dinosaurs that were covered in feathers, did you? Good night, great dinosaurs. You look so strange. Yeah, this one has had so big claws here and also spikes around his head and his neck. Be careful, little mammals living in the shadows of dinosaurs. So here's more of those little mice. Look how big the footprint of the dinosaur is. That's so big. Or a mice can fit in there. Good night, flying reptiles soaring high in the starry sky. So these are dinosaurs that can fly. Good night, dinosaur family. Sleep tight. There's a dinosaur family. They're going to bed. They're going to sleep. Look at their eyes are closed. Good night, little dino and mother. 
Thank you for sharing your prehistoric world. So there's a baby, the little dino and his mom or her mom. Good night, dinosaur. That's the back of the book. Okay. So now I have a, um, a counting activity and it's called Five Enormous Dinosaurs. And I'm gonna have to move over because these dinosaurs are really, really big. Look how big they are. They're so big, they barely fit onto my health board here. And how many dinosaurs do we have here? Can we count them? One, two, three, four, five. Five, you can put five on your hand like this. Five enormous dinosaurs. Five enormous dinosaurs letting out a roar. One went away. Uh oh. And then there were, how many are left? Do we count them? One, two, three, four. Four enormous dinosaurs munching on a tree. One went away. And then there were, how many are left now? One, two, Three. Three enormous dinosaurs didn't know what to do. One went away and then there were, how many are left now? One, two, oh, one, two. <laughs> two enormous dinosaurs having lots of fun. One went away and then there was one. One enormous dinosaur afraid to be a hero he went away and then there was zero, zero, big fat zero. All right, we're gonna put, put our dinosaurs back and let's count them when, while I do that. One, two, let's see if they fit. Three, four, can y'all see that? And five. Five enormous dinosaurs. That was great counting, everyone. Great counting. Okay, we're gonna go on to our last book. Let me go ahead and share my screen. And this one's called Nighttime Animals. And this one's by DK and read with permission from DK Publishing. Look at the cover of this book. What kind of animal do you think this is? It's unusual and it has really big eyes so it can see in, at night because it's a nighttime animal. I think we're gonna find out what kind of animal it is when we, when we read the book. Let's start. Ooh, nighttime animals. What kind of animal is this? This is also a nighttime animal. Can you guess? I think you know, it's a bat, right? And here's another nighttime animal right here. That's an owl. And owls go, ooh, ooh. Okay, That's a table of contents. The sun sets, the nighttime animals wake up. It's time to eat. Let's see what kind of animals we can see here. These are shadows or silhouettes. So you can see this is an owl. There's a bat. This looks like a nighttime cat. And this is a coyote. And I live in Pacifica and we can hear coyotes here at night. And this one looks like he's howling. And you howl like a coyote. You throw your head back and you go, Arroo! could you do that? Let's try that one more time. Arroo! And then this down here is also a nighttime animal. I'm not really sure what that is. It kind of looks like a crab. Let's see, we'll find out as we read. Coyotes, coyotes run and hunt. They call to each other. And there he is howling. Arroo! Owls, there's an owl and his claws. These are called talons and they're sharp. And here's his wing and the wings are really big. Owls look and listen. Then they swoop in to catch an animal. That's why he needs these sharp claws so he could catch his dinner. He goes swoosh. 
Moths. Luna moths. This is a luna moth. Doesn't it look pretty? It's green. Moths fly around in the moonlight. This is a red underwing moth because it's red down here. So if you're out at night when it's dark, you might see some moths flying around. Scorpion, oh, this is what that thing was that looked like a crab. Here's his stinger or over here and his claws, which are down here, or you can see them in this little picture. Scorpions lift their stingers. They are ready to attack. You don't wanna be close by when a scorpion attacks. Those stingers hurt. Boa constrictors. A boa constrictor slithers along a branch. It searches for food. Here's saying slither and his scaly skin. Do you like snakes? You know, I like looking at them, but I don't know if I wanna hold one. Lorisus. Oh, that's what that animal was on the cover of the book. It's a Lorisus. Lorisus see in the dark with wide open eyes. Yeah, remember we, we talked about the eyes earlier. And there's his fingers right there. And what's he doing over here? Maybe he's having breakfast. It's a banana. Raccoons. Scratch, scratch. Raccoons scamper around the logs. They will eat any food they can find. Here he is. And we have raccoons in my neighborhood. They're, and they're big. They come into the yard sometimes. And he's, and he's furry. And do you notice something? I just want to point this out. Do you notice something about his tail? It's like it's striped. It has rings around it. Possums. Possums scurry around with their joeys. So the joey is a baby possum. You see him here, here's the baby and here's the parent. Bats. Bats fly around at night. They squeak through their noses. So squeak, squeak through their nose. Can you squeak through your nose? Maybe it sounds kind of like this. There's his nose. And this kind of bat is a vampire bat. Aardvarks. Aardvarks smell the ants and termites they like to eat. Sniff, sniff. There's his snout. He has a pointy snout and he sticks that snout into a hole where he can get ants and termites. Mmm. Does that sound like a good meal? Maybe for an aardvark, right? Leopards. A leopard hunts alone. His glowing eyes can see very well. Look at his glowing eyes. And there's his ear. I bet he can hear really well with those ears. And he hunts at night. The sun rises, the nighttime animals sleep. It's been a busy night. Yeah, so they are awake at night and they sleep during the day. So look at the sleepy owl and look at the raccoon in the tree, and there's a leopard, and there's a bat. He sleeps upside down, right? And that's the end. That's the end of the book. Did you enjoy that book? I love learning about animals. Hey, so we're going to do our last song, and this one is called Owl. And th this has some hand motions that I will teach you so you can learn them, all right? There's a wide-eyed owl. Can you do this with your hands and, and put them up to your face like this? So you look like a wide-eyed owl with a pointed nose. Do this with your finger to make a pointed nose. Two pointed ears and claws for toes. He lives way up in the tree, way up there. And when he looks at you, he flaps his wings and he says, what does he say? Ooh, ooh. All right, let's try that one again. There's a wide-eyed owl with a pointed nose and two pointed ears and claws for toes. 
He lifts way up in the tree. And when he looks at you, he flaps his wings and says, Ooh, ooh. Right, good job. Now we're going to sing our closing song, all right? Do you remember what that is? We're going to open our hands. Open and shut them. Open and shut them. Raise your hands up high, high, high. Open and shut them. Open and shut them. Time to say goodbye, bye, bye. But before we really say goodbye, I just want to remind you about the census. Census is going on right now. My2020census.gov is where you can find um, the form that you can fill out and you can have your grown-up help you with it. And er we want everyone to get counted because that's how a lot of our services get money, like our schools and our hospitals. And if you need more information about that, you can go to smcl.org slash census. And coming up later today, we have bilingual story time with Xiao Mei at three o'clock. This is a bilingual story time in Mandarin and English. And we also have Create with Kelly at 3.30 and then Doodling with Lynn at 4 p.m. So we've got lots of stuff going on. Um, you can tune in um, when you have a chance. And I, I'm Angela again, if you forgot. And I will be back with preschool story time on Thursday at 11. Okay, we'll see you then. Bye-bye.